Welcome to another video. If you've been paying Perplexity's $20 fee, you're not making a good investment. The proposition of Perplexity is essentially nothing but GPT-4 combined with the Google Search API. There have been many reports claiming the same thing. They have even been scraping news outlets for information without compensating them. Numerous reports have documented this behavior. If you're a regular viewer of my channel, you'll know that I don't like perplexity at all due to how vague they have been in their claims. That's why I have covered a bunch of alternatives to perplexity. However, most of them require you to set up everything locally, which is obviously not feasible for everyone. Today, I have a secret AI tool for you that's essentially perplexity, but free, and it even comes with Claude, 3.5 Sonnet, GPT-4.0, and GPT-4 O-Mini support, all for free. This tool is called Morphic. Morphic is a perplexity alternative that allows you to do exactly what perplexity does. Not only that, but it's also fully free to use without any apparent limits. If that's not enough, let me tell you that you also get three model options here. These include Claude, 3.5 Sonnet, GPT-4 O-Mini, and GPT-4.0, meaning you literally get what Perplexity offers, but for free. If you have been an avid viewer of my channel, you'll know that I have covered this in the past. But at that time, it didn't have good options for the models, and because it's open source, I mostly focused on how you can locally host it. Anyway, now it's really cool, fully free, and if you want to host it locally, it's also fully open source, so you can do that as well. For the Claude 3.5 Sonnet and GPT-4.0 models, you'll need to sign up for an account. You can use GPT-4.0 Mini even without an account. So, let's first try it out with GPT-4.0 Mini. Just select the speed option over here. Now, we can use it. Let's ask it about something recent, like... Tell me about the recent Search GPT launch. Let's send it. It's pretty fast, just like Perplexity. That may be because the GPT-4 O-Mini model is also quite fast in inference. Anyway, here's the result. You can see that it looks just like Perplexity. You have the articles here, and you also have the references for each article for better fact-checking. You also have images and other relevant information. You can ask it follow-up questions here, which is also cool. You also get AI-generated follow-up questions as well. Let's select this one over here. Okay, so it's also pretty fast. The follow-up also works fine. Now let's try it out with Claude and GPT-4 as well. To do that, we'll need to register for an account. So let's do that. Just click here and create an account. Okay. Now I have created an account, and I'm signed in. Let's select the GPT-4 option over here. Now let's ask it something else. Okay, so this one's also quite fast. Here's the result. The result with this model will obviously be better than GPT-4 O-Mini, which is also good. You can do the same things as with the other model. Let's select a follow-up question here. I have noticed that it's a little slower, but it's fine since we are getting quality here. Here's the result. The follow-up also works fine, and you get all the results as well. Let's also try the Claude 3.5 Sonnet model. Let's send the message here. This one's a little slow, but let's wait. Here's the result. This one also looks fine, which is cool. You can do the same things you can do with other models. Another thing I found really cool is that you can enter an article or PDF URL in the search bar with Summary at the start, which will summarize the article or PDF for you. This is obviously very cool. So, it's really cool. I mean, it's literally perplexity for free. Also, I can't guarantee that this will remain free because most of these things I cover end up getting too much traffic and they limit the requests like what the Storm Guys did or together, AI did. Anyway, 
it's really cool. I have been using it for some time now, and I have no complaints. It may not be as polished as Perplexity, but ultimately, it's free with Claude 3.5 Sonnet, which is insane considering that Perplexity charges you $20 for it. It's open source as well. So, let me also tell you how you can set it up locally if you want. First, clone the Morphic repo on your computer. Once done, navigate inside the folder. Now, run the bun install command. We'll need to rename the example env file to env. To do that, run this command. Now, let's open up the folder in VS Code. Let's also open up the env file. We'll need to put in the OpenAI, Anthropic, and you can also use it with Grok or Olama. But first, we'll need an Upstash URL and token. Upstash is a serverless Redis service, and it has a free tier. So, just sign up and get the token and URL from there and put it in here. We'll also need the Tavali API key. It also has a free tier, so you can just register there and get the API key. Once that's done, you can now set it up with OpenAI, Anthropic, Grok, or Olama by putting the API key here. For Olama, you'll also need to enter a base model name and sub-model name as well. I'll recommend using the Llama 3.1 model, as that's the best for local usage. You can just get Olama installed via the Olama site and then get the Llama 3.1 model also installed from there. It's pretty easy. Anyway, I won't be using it with that. So, I'll put the OpenAI API key here. Once done, go back to the terminal and run the application with the bundev command. Now, the application should get started. Now you can just open your browser and go to localhost and port 3000 over there. So, it's really cool as well. This way, you can use it locally, which is cool. But the best part is the hosted version, where you can use it for free with every major model, which is very cool. I think it's the best alternative right now. Let's see how long it stays free. Because if I cover something, it ends up getting limited. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Also, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.